Hi folks, it's Nick here. Thank you for joining me. We're looking at a PC remake. This one is Jet Set Willy by Andy Noble in 2004. A game I originally played on the ZX Spectrum by Software Projects in 1984 and the author of that was Matthew Smith. Now this one has many customizable options. You've got different music you can select, the game speed and you can even change the colour of the main central character. So we'll have a mess about with this on a few goes hopefully. I uh, recently reviewed this game on the uh, Commodore 64 and it wasn't really that good on that one, so I'm hoping that this is a lot better. The music is by Matt Simmons and there's a lot of music in this. As I say, hopefully we're going to mix it around a bit. Uh, we've made uh, Willy go a bit green there. Right, and I like this music at the start as well. Excellent. Uh, Manic Miner by Andy Noble, we reviewed last week, was pretty good. I'm hoping this is of a similar standard. Brilliant. Brilliant music. Oh yeah, this feels nice. I'm getting a warm feeling already. Okay, so that level looks the same. Yeah, again, this is pretty special. This is done with care. The character moves perfectly. Look at this. Like um, all good conversions, they should use the original game and just put a, a gloss of fantasticness over this. Oh, there's, uh, there's uh, Maria there. She looks a bit better looking in this version. She, yeah, she won't let us go to bed until we've cleaned up. Curses you, Maria. Oh, listen to this music, man. It isn't just a loop. It's, it's, it's a whole piece of music. La, 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 la. First landing. We all know this. So we'll do a bit of exploring. Absolute delight. I mean, I'm in retro heaven here. The best Jet Set Willy I've ever played. Do, do. There we go. Recognise all these screens from the ZX Spectrum version. It's just been made that bit better. When I reviewed the Commodore 64 version, some of the uh, enemies were in different places that made it almost impossible to get to the next screen. Hopefully that doesn't happen in this version. It is better done. This one in particular, the yellow guy going up and down, didn't go up the top. You couldn't walk past. There you go. That's perfect. That's how it should be. And they also had a problem in the drive of one of the birds. It was way too low. The hall. It's playing a version of If I Were a Rich Man, which is perfect because he is rich after his events in um, Manic Miner. In the mines there, he found lots of money and wealth. Now, this, this level is quite tricky, the security guard. You need to get the timers here. Ah, oh, man. Hopefully, I don't uh, cop out here or die. Now what's good about this is, to my knowledge, all the timings, oops, all the timings seem identical to the original game, which isn't an easy thing to do. I think this took Andy quite a while to uh, program, it was a bit of a long project, a lot bigger than Manic Miner, but well done Andy Noble, writer of this, you once again you've done absolutely awesome. And also a big shout out to Matt Simmons who did the music, well done both of you, this one is a pure delight so far. Da da da! I've never completed Jet Set Willy legitimately on any system. Uh, if you want to see what the end of game sequence is like, on the Spectrum at least, there is a video up called What Happens at the End of Jet Set Willy, and it will show you what happens at the end of Jet Set Willy 1 and Jet Set Willy 2 if you're interested. Hooray! So check that one out. At the foot of the Mega Tree. Right, we're heading towards the off license, hopefully, and that's always a good place to head to. Lots and lots of rooms in this. Should we go up here? No, I don't think so. It will hinder our way to get to the off license. Oops. Need to jump through this staircase. There we go. You can select to have the original uh, music from the Zelix Spectrum on this. So we might have a go at that as well. If time permitting, which I'm sure we've got time permitting, haven't we? What do you think of this one? Good or bad? Really adds a lot in my mind to the original game. This is going to be a bit tricky. How many lives have we got? Four. Go! Damn. So we've got to get the timing past these two birds and this UFO thing. I remember as a kid uh, thinking this was very, very tricky. In Jet Set Willy 2, they've got another screen after this one before the, uh, the off license. I don't think Andy Noble did a conversion of Jet Set Willy 2. Would have liked him to have done so, but this one will suffice. It's good. The bridge. Take me to the bridge. It's interesting because there's, there's no bridge here. It's just an empty uh, empty expanse. I wouldn't call this a bridge, really. 
I'd say it should be called the lack of a bridge. I've only got one life left. Oh dear, this isn't looking good to get to the off license, folks. I wanted to show you that. Uh, ooh. Yes, we've done it. Yeah. Who, who doubted me? Nine items collected. There we go. There's the off license. And like all off licenses, all the uh, bottles of grog are suspended from the ceiling, glittering away with some weird um, satellite thing going backward and forward trying to kill you. Your friendly off license. Avoid the camera. There we go. Lots and lots of exploring you can do on this. Good stuff. Helpful to have a map, although the map doesn't always join up. Duh, duh. Duh, 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 duh. Duh, 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 duh. Now, this is free of charge, this game. You don't have to pay for it. Good, the big foot, the, uh, foot comes down like Monty Python. Uh, if you go to Retrospec, Retrospec website, uh, then you can download this for free. Well done, Angie Noble. Right, let's muck about with this again. Let's have some different music. The Commodore 64 music isn't very good. Adventure music, let's have that. Hmm, the music sounds the same at the moment. Maybe adventure music is very similar. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. Oh, it's changed. This is like religious music. Maybe because the chapel's next door. Right. Yes! Oh, this just keeps getting better and better. Oh, man. Each set of screens seems to have their own music. Oh, well done, Matt Simmons. Da -da 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 -da. Reminds me of Lemmings, this sort of music. Awesome! Diddly 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 diddly. You've got to, if you own a PC, which I'm sure you do, you've got to download this game. Jet Set Willy, and you know, 2004 Retrospect website. Google it. Excellent. Available for Windows and Mac, I believe. Now this is a version of, Je of uh, which I was a rich man, really slow. Karma. I just want to stay and listen to it. What's this one? Da -da 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 -da. Oh, it's back to the chapel music. Okay, up we go. To the orangery, folks. If it's still the orangery, I don't know. Just want to stay and dance. What's this one? This is funky. On the west wing. Oops, collect that item by the swimming pool. I just want to stay and party on the west wing. Hit me! Dub dub dib it a bow. Orangery. Back to Manic Mining Music. <laughs> you waste so much time just standing there listening to the music. Glorious game. This is really the best game I'll play all week, I think. And Now, I mentioned the Manic Miner remake we reviewed last week, which was great. This is much better than that. I wouldn't think it was even possible, but the Manic Miner game was good as well. Both of them are brilliant. And then before that was Attic Attack, which is another great co conversion. Newman Looney. Means something in Latin. I do not know what. Something about your name or something. Right, get the time in here. I couldn't do this on the Commodore 64 because it was too awkward. Let's see if it's a lot easier here. Indeed it is. He's passed. Now this goes over to the battlements, which is always a bit tricky. Once we get past on the roof. I think this is where I died on the Commodore 64 review. Don't think I'm going to have any such problems here. I found it hard to jump off. And this one is perfect. Controls really well, this. Right, up on the battlements. It's getting tricky. Watch the arrows. This music's gone a bit spooky. There's a conveyor belt. Yes. This guy's going a bit quick. Right, okay. I think we've got this beat. As long as we can get over this fella. Yes, yes. We must perform a quicker fleek. Oh, this looks awkward. Oh, man. How'd you get past this arrow? This seems a bit different. Oh, we're losing all our lives here. That'll do. 
Hopefully that arrow doesn't come across too much. I don't remember it being that tricky on the original. Ooh, that was close. Get your jump right. Yes. Right. Okay, past this screen is Esmeralda. If I get to her, I'll be ecstatic. She's a beauty. This is getting tricky now. I'm sure I've seen this before many, many times. Oh, one guy left. Oh, no. That was a stupid mistake. I was almost there then. Can I repeat greatness again? The security guard's going up and down on the battlements. This is one hell of a house. I wonder how much it must have cost uh, Mr. Willie. Oh, I don't think I'm going to do this. That's defeatist. We are going to do it. I've showed you quite a few rooms of Jet Set Willie. We haven't gone to the chapel. Uh, there's a few corridors we haven't gone down. But I've shown you a lot, man. Right, okay. Those arrows only kill you if you're in the air, it seems. Oh, no. It's not happening. It's not happening. Come on, concentrate here. We can do this thing. We've done it before on the Spectrum, so I'm sure we can do it on the PC. It's exactly the same timings, really. It's all about getting past this fellow, because the next fellow is really slow. They look like wizards, don't they? Not security guards. Yes! There we go. And there's Esmeralda over there, trapped behind that door. I don't think she's going to award us for anything. Boof. Right, just past this silly fellow. They look like jesters, actually. Right, let's go and rescue Esmeralda. She's bound to be pleased. Hopefully she will uh, help me tidy up. There you go, you're rescued. She doesn't seem any great hurry to go. Hurry to go. What's this music now? The emergency generator. This is adventure music. Good stuff. Adds, really adds an extra bit to the game. Dr. Jones will never believe this. And now I think, I think there might be a shortcut we can go over the top. We don't need to go through the difficult bit, I don't think. We'll try and go over the top, see what happens. What's the worst thing that could possibly happen? Oops, we jumped in the bottom of that screen, which we went to before. We must perform a quicker fleeg and we're dead. Oh, dearie me. I think we'll have one last go. We might put it on the original music, perhaps. Uh, 64 Atari music as well. So I could be here ages checking out all the music. We'll go on the 48k version. We'll change Willie's colour, shall we? What should we go for? Let's go for a little red number. So he's quite rich. He's got a, a selection of costumes, not just one. On the original Spectrum, of course, he was just one white block. Here he's got a bit of character to him. He's coming alive. What a what a mean outfit. Classic Spectrum music. Yeah, this takes me back. There were two versions of Jet Set Willy on the Spectrum. One had the original Manic Miner music, and I think later versions had the Wish I Was a Rich Man music, which is now playing. Yeah, classic. It's amazing how much difference the music makes to your actual um, uh, gameplay. This is, I feel, more retro, but I prefer the re remixed uh, and classic versions by... Uh, well, newer version should be say by Matt Simmons, I think. Awesome! So much to like about this game. I'm giving it 11 out of 10. Great stuff. Mind you, if you grew up with Jet Set William Manic Miner, you just love seeing these redone. Attic Attack as well. I think there's a few other remakes I can try. I can't get all of them to work, but uh, I could have a go at Night Law. That was a very tricky game. We'd like to see the Horace games remade, but uh, I haven't seen any remakes of those. I'm not sure what they can do a great deal to improve them. Horace and the Spiders remade as a sort of a thing like this would be great. Don't really have the music on those Horace games, that's the one thing. Right, the back door. We didn't go here last time. I'm hopefully going to take you to the beach now. Life's a beach, man. Past the tool shed. There we go, the beach. An arrow goes across. Now in Jet Set Willy 2, you could go this way, get on a yacht and then go to an island. Here there's, there's not that here. There was rumours back in the day that there was an island, which there wasn't. So Jet Set Willy 2, I think they, they put it in. The yacht! And it's a most weirdly looking yacht. Looks like just bits of wood glued together. The bow. And that's about as far as you can go in this direction. The water will actually kill you. 
over that thing. It looks like a walking egg cup. Oh well. Let's see if we can get that item there. There used to be a hidden item around here somewhere as well, which was invisible. Oops. Duh, 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 duh. Wish I were a rich man. What's your favourite version of Jet Set Willy? I think mine have to be, well, this now. This version is my favourite. And then the version I played as a kid uh, on the Spectrum Second. Da, 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 da. There is an Amiga version, but uh, it's not that good in my opinion. The problem with it is... Um, I think remakes always should remind you of the original game, which this one does brilliantly. The Amiga version looks like it was trying to reinvent it. It wasn't flip screen like this, so you couldn't go off the screen, the next one's low. It scrolled, and I, I think that, that killed the gameplay. It didn't feel like Jet Set Willy. So a good remake should always look like the original game with extra bits added rather than looking like a rip-off. Um, that's just my opinion. You might think different, but... It's got to play like the original, but just be better. Oh no, look, I'm not doing this very properly. Last life here, items collected four, which is not nearly enough. And that's about 80 odd, and we're dead again in the yacht. Good, good, good. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that. I really enjoyed playing it. It's one I'm going to come back to again and again. That was Jet Set Willy on the PC, a remake by Andy Noble in 2004, music by Matt Simmons, based on the original game by Software Projects from 1984, written by Matthew Smith. If you've got any thoughts about that, any comments, then please put them below. Please subscribe if you haven't already, because that is a massive help. If you'd like to help the channel go on and on and on and on and on, there's patreon.com slash njenkin. Every little bit really does help. Until next time, take great care of yourself as this thing goes mental and a very fond. Goodbye. Goodbye.